Hey, how's it going? My name is Richie Plunger from the Puppenham Geek, and today, guys, we're taking a look at the HS2 Hard Stop Follow Focus. This here has to be one of the more premium follow focus rings on Film City, and I have to say, it's really great quality as well. Now, in the kit, you do get a base plate which supports 15mm rods, which is also nice, and a couple of other accessories as well, which I think was only during a promotion. Now, the kit itself is actually quite small, as you can see here. Now, it look, extremely looks even smaller because I'm using it with the A6500. Now, if you use it with any other camera, I'm sure it looks slightly bigger or smaller, but it works exactly the same. Now, as you can see here, as I rack focus, uh, you know, it works really well and as we look a bit closer into the actual hard stop full of focus ring itself You'll see how it actually works and the way it's built as well, which is just amazing So taking a closer look at the ring you'll notice that you've actually got these two little knobs on the sides Which allow you to shift and move around to actually get that focus So, you know when you actually have actors if you have anyone in the foreground you can actually you know get those spots and then you know mark those spots as well on the focus ring and once you've gotten there time those down and then away you go and what I was really surprised was the build quality of this you know all solid metal as well very little plastic on the actual uh, follow focus which is really nice so as you can see here as we take it it was actually quite heavy as well it did have a bit of weight to it uh, which I actually liked I have a bit more of like I guess the low budget follow focus rings from the guys over at Sin City and it definitely feels a lot different you have this nice solid movement it doesn't feel like free uh, the focus ring uh, it actually have a bit of like I guess resistance to it which is really nice and I really love about that because you don't feel like you have to actually um, you know put that much force in it but you get these nice smooth motions um, when racking focus so this actual whole kit itself retails for about $175 US so it is quite expensive but what's really great about the guys about Sin City you have this sort of variations of really low budget stuff to high-end stuff as well and I definitely think if you're looking for a bit more premium kit that you're building, this is a great way to start. I'll put a link down below where you can check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.